you don't have to sit there and struggle trying to make your repayment every month. There's a, plenty of options out there that the banks are offering. Most of the banks have come on board um, with this on a united front. Um, they've done things like um, if, and I'll, we'll go into the deferral payments in a second, but um, a big things around credit reporting and what it does to your credit file. So what mm -hmm. they have actually done is if you defer these, it's not like you're going to go into arrears or anything of that nature. Um, you're actually going to be, um, you're going to be okay. There's not going to be anything detrimental done to your credit file. So deferral or payments, how that is essentially going to work is um, there's a heap of different um, options depending on uh, who your bank is, but the banks will allow you to either uh, call up and you'll go through um, a bit of information with your bank, which is why I said it's pretty critical right now to go through your budget because they're going to ask you certain questions just to see where you stand right now within that hardship period. So try and do a bit of homework around where things are for you right now, what you can afford to do. And then there can be things such as deferring your home loan repayments for six months. Now, Working in the banking industry, um, I've been doing this for quite a long time. For about 10 of those 12 years, I was actually um, working for lenders. So I fully understand how this sort of process works. Um, when it used to be applying for hardship, it used to be a lot different. But with what we're seeing here, and as it's just such an unknown, um, there's so much more leniency and willingness just to provide um, that support to the client. So a deferral or a payment for six months, you'll still be charged your interest during that time, but you essentially don't have to make that repayment. So it gives you a six month period where you don't have to pay your loan and the interest is actually capitalized on top of your loan. Now, previously when we were talking about hardship, it would be like, yep, we'll give you that period of six months. We'll give you that interest capitalized. But once you got to that six month period, it was almost like, well, we expect you to catch up. What they're actually doing is um, they're looking to um, increase your loan limit. Now, once again, it, it varies from bank to bank, but what they'll be looking to do is increase your loan limit so you're not in arrears, and then they'll calculate the monthly repayment either what your remaining term is or they may actually even look to increase that up so that um, you're essentially in line with what your monthly repayment was whenever, whenever this all first happened. Wonderful. So, so they'll just push everything out by maybe six much. months. So if you were paying twelve hundred mm -hmm. at that point in time, um, then you might find in a six month time you might have had twenty five years left. They'll go, you know what, we're gonna give you twenty five years, six months remaining on your turn, increase it up, mm -hmm. and you still you're still paying twelve hundred dollars. So I think we've, I've seen a lot of uh, stuff on Facebook. There's been a lot of commentary around it. Why would you do it? At the end of the day, this interest is what you would have paid. Um, irrespective this is a chance for you to take something off your plate and um, let yourself get everything back in order and look after the things that are important like buying food um, the, exp the expenses that are essential and the banks allowing you to do that so I really have to afford them for um, for what they've put forward another option that they are doing once again it depends from bank to bank but they're reverting from um, principal and interest repayments to interest only so what that would look like is um, if you had I'm just going to use round figures and rough figures, but just say you had a $400,000 loan, your principal and interest component, your monthly repayment might be two grand, but your interest component on that principal and interest might be a thousand dollars. So therefore reverting it from principal and interest to interest only, you're actually halving your monthly repayment. So you're just making the bare minimum. Um, once again, it's, it's pretty much done on a case by case basis, but the bank will almost ask you, well, what can you pay? Um, in some instances, it might be zero. In some instances, you might be able to revert to that to that interest only um, repayment. Touched on it a bit before about the extension of the loan term. Um, once again, um, this is done by case by case basis, and it's done by bank by bank basis. Um, so <clears throat> the idea is they don't want to put you into a into a bad situation. Um, you can only imagine if everyone started defaulting on their loans, and then the bank started having to sell properties it's just not the climate for it so they're absolutely there to help um mm. and they're going to try and mirror what you're doing right now with um with your repayments so that when everything's said and done the dust is settled hopefully you're back on your two feet you're able just to carry on as business as usual 